Mike, dual purpose. Mike, you talked an awful lot about guys being professional coaches, players, and focusing on the task at hand, ignoring the contract situation. Uh, does that make it, though, impressive what Derek and, 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 and Ryan have been able to do uh, with their contract statuses and the way they've been playing, particularly over the last few weeks? Um, you know, I don't think I've probably done this long enough to, you know, get into that. I really just try to, you know, coach the guys that are here, um, try to get the best out of them. Those guys have helped us win a lot of games. They've helped us uh, get to this point. Um, you know, and all that stuff really gets taken care of, you know, in the off season. How do you weigh um, staying aggressive defensively while staying defensively responsible against a quarterback like Lamar Jackson? Yeah, I mean, any time that you have a, a quarterback and especially a scheme that uh, forces you to defend the, the entire field, um, you know, both laterally and horizontally. Um, it takes a lot of discipline. Um, it takes you know, guys being um, good tacklers, sound tacklers, swarming to the football. Um, you know, it's a huge challenge. Um, you know, we'll have to you know, play our best and, and prepare these next couple days to you know, give us a chance to get into third and long. They're, they're number one in third down defense because they have so many um, third and ones, um, third and twos, third and threes, where they're able to you know, still run the football, uh, but, but also throw it. Um, and, and that's why they're number one in the league in third down and in, in, in scoring. What's it like to be, to be read uh, and, and to know that maybe there are going to be some plays where you can't make the, the right sure. choice? Sure. Yeah, that's. Um, well, I mean, sometimes you can make the right choice. Sometimes um, you just can't make, you know, I mean, it comes, it's the Jimmys and the Joes. You know, the, the plays are great, but, um, you know, Lamar does a fantastic job. He's an unbelievable athlete. Looks like he loves playing football. Um, so we'll have to line up and play the next snap. Um, you know, if, if they if they hit one, which they will, um, that's, that's how it goes. You, you know, you have different responsibilities, and, and, it's, and they do a nice job of mixing up the scheme so it's not just the same thing um, over and over. Um, it'd be a great challenge, huge challenge for us. When there's so much going on, is there a particular importance in, in keeping to assignments and not maybe try to do too much and, and you know, try to play hero ball? Um, you know, discipline is always critical um, to playing good defense, to playing great defense. Um, you know, trying to. To make a play, as you mentioned, we always try to make them good ones. Because um, when you start chasing things, uh, sometimes uh, you know you just open up more uh, problems. I'm seeing from you here that Lamar Jackson's speed is something that surprises you, you know, because you haven't seen it before. Can you look back on, on your career and recall anyone that, that had that? Type All of them, <laughs> to me, yeah. Um. You know, it just he eats up stripes. You know, when it when he goes north and south, um, you know those stripes get eaten up pretty quickly. Um, you know, it's option football, so it's you got two alley players, you got one alley player in the middle of the field safety. So I think some of those watching some of those films, yeah, you know, the middle of the field safety gets a little surprised that he's on him as quickly as he is, you know, and that that's um, you, know, you only got a couple choices. You know, got a post safety, got two safeties or, or, or no safety. You bring everybody down. So it's not a whole lot of options. What do you see from them as far as how aggressive they are on defense uh, as far as sending extra guys? Well, probably the same thing you've seen, Jim. They're, they are very aggressive. They've got you know, very good skill on the back end that they don't mind covering with. Um, obviously, Peters and Humphreys, who does a fantastic job of disrupting the football, um, probably one of the better Defensive players we've seen this year of, of punching the ball out and hammering it out. Um, Jimmy Smith, physical, great length. You know, they really, you know, with Brandon uh, Carr, you know, a, a cover safety and then a versatile, um, you know, rangy safety with Thomas. So that I think gives them a little flexibility. And, you know, Wink's been very aggressive and called an aggressive game. That's who he is. Um, and we'll have to be ready for, for everything. Is the challenge great for? AJ and Corey and Tajay getting off the line of scrimmage on these guys are they are they tough on on those guys in this game? Well, I mean the challenge is is on everybody. I mean the challenge is on um, you know our entire team, our coaches to to prepare. Um, 
similar to what we did last week, understand what they are really good at, which is a lot of stuff, and then try to give us give our players a plan that they feel confident in, that they can go out there and execute uh, in, in a hostile environment on Saturday night. Yeah, that's that's pretty much um, kind of what we talked to the team about is, is being being able to to create some field position in the special teams phase, um, whether that's by pinning them down there, flipping the field, um, getting a few returns, get, finding a way to see if we can make a punt and, and get some some yardage there, but then also you know not giving them anything easy, you know, making them earn everything that they get. You know that that'll be a critical part. They they average four four possessions a game in the red zone, and they're number two in the red zone. So um, it's not hard to see why they average 33 points a game. Uh, and they have the best kicker, you know, in the league. Uh, not that they've used them a whole lot because they're scoring touchdowns, uh, but but that'll be critical, um, you know, for us defensively. They have the third ranked defense. Uh, in the red zone too. So when they do get down there, they're not giving up a whole lot of points. It's ridiculous. I think I wrote it. It's like a th it's eighteen. No, it's not. It's eighteen hundred. It's eight. I mean, did you? Ever I just did the math. See a team it took me a while. Two hundred yards a game on the ground. They're, they've got more. Not than in this league. Passing. So they have five thousand. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, you sit there and you're like, yeah, we're. You know, see what they're doing because we didn't have a whole lot of carryover. And I'm sure it'd be fun to watch. Um, it's not fun to prepare for, you know, but we're excited. We're excited about the challenge um, to, uh, you know, to go out and play, to continue to play football. Our guys were, um, everybody's excited to come in the building, to continue to get treatment, to, to work out. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams that, you know, aren't doing that, aren't meeting. Um, you know, aren't doing practice schedules. That they're on to the off season, and and I know that our guys and our coaches are are excited to, to continue that preparation and and to go play a huge game. Like the fact that you know Casey and Simmons be against that scheme with their ability to disrupt things like that. Um, you know, I think that they, you know, again they're they're trying to, to to limit that. They're trying to make a clean mesh, and you know it'll be important for everybody to 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 focus in on each and every call. Uh, what the details are for the call um, for their, their position. Um, you know, and then, you know, again, there's a fine line between being disruptive and then, you know, being somewhere where you're not. And so that there are all, you know, disruptions always um, welcome. You just have to make sure that it's you know, within you know, what we're, we're trying to do. Interception was really disruptive. I think the third down play at the goal line, it allowed Rashawn to make a play. How's he been? Here for you down the stretch, do you think you benefited from maybe having a, taking a week off as you're getting healthier? Um, you know, Jeff continues to improve. Fantastic um, attitude to improve. You know, missed a lot of time. He's come back. He's continued to battle. Um, take care of his body, and uh, you know, played played well. Played. You know, again, there's a lot of plays that go unnoticed, but. You know, he was probably out on the field for three or four punts where he drove two guys back into to the punter last week. And he goes hard on our field goal block unit. So those are a lot of things that I think people don't realize. But you know, he doesn't ask, hey, why, or why am I doing this, or why, why am I on the punt return unit? He, he tries to help out wherever he can. And, you know, the other night, he referenced the goal line. He runs out there and knows what to do and, uh, and helps us make a play. Feeling about Lawan's growth curve since since he came back, Anav. Um, good. I mean, I think that Taylor's continued to improve. I think he uh, takes coaching. I think he's f focused on um, doing his job. I thought the entire offensive line came off the football uh, the other night. Um, we'll need a lot more of that uh, growth, as you put it, um, Saturday night, but. Um, you know, he's trying to do things to help us win and, you know, block his guy. Um, you know, and, and, and the penalty, you know, I mean, it's, there's certain penalty. And, I, and if you're, you know, referencing the penalties, obviously that's been um, something that's come way down. And, um, 
you know, as long as we're playing fast and aggressive with good technique and fundamentals, you know, that, that's all I can ask for. If we keep our composure um, after the whistle, that we don't do anything that that would negatively affect our team. Um, you know, that that's that's what I care about. Your assessment of how that whole group has been playing together as of late, the offensive line. Well, when you're able to, to run the football and, and protect the quarterback, and he doesn't get a whole lot of hits. Um, you know, usually the guys up front are are working well together. Um, it's been a challenge. You know, every week's a challenge in this league. Uh, got a whole new team to prepare for this week. Um, different fronts, different personnel groups, uh, pressure. Um, you know, so again, it, it's it's all starts back over. You know, we've talked about playing with confidence, but building momentum. And so, whatever momentum we had at the end of that game, basically, to me restarts and we have to try to find ways to build momentum through practice uh, and, and lead up to uh, to the game on Saturday night. As you play up the underdog role with big guys and all the talk about Baltimore and what they've been able to do all year. I, I would imagine we're, we're, we're the underdogs every week. That's kind of, I mean, you you go to our games. I mean, there's 20,000 other, other teams' fans. I, I just coach the team, try to get them ready. Some some days it's good enough, and some days it's not good enough. I try to improve on what I didn't do well enough. Um, all I can tell you is that we're excited to prepare, uh, and then ultimately play at the end of this week. Seems like you guys relish that role, though. Everyone counting on you. Again, I think that we need to prepare. We need to practice. We need to try to find ways to to limit what they do really well, which is a lot. Um, you know, find find a way to to get our guys to to believe in the the plan this week, uh, to understand it, to be able to, to communicate it to each other, uh, in in a in a loud environment. Th those are all the things I'm focused on. Um, you know, I can't I can't can't figure out what else you know people's thoughts are. Will it help to balance that line of getting good, clean, hard hits on Lamar, but not playing dirty, especially in those those zone read situations? Yeah, I mean, I think that we, we've we at least I've always coached and been coached that, um, you know, that football is a, is a collision sport. Um, you know, we've, we've never coached or I've never been coached to, to do anything that was illegal or, um, you know, that would try to ever hurt a player. Um, you know, he, he does a fantastic job of. You know, taking care of himself. He hasn't taken a whole lot of hits. I mean, as many times as he's run the ball, it's he hasn't had a whole lot of hits. So um, I, I can't imagine he'd be too worried about us hitting him. Uh, Have we gotten out of protocol yet? Uh, still working through some stages with with practice and and the um, tor towards the end, towards the end of the uh, the protocol. How's Jay on? Uh, what I said, sore. Gonna sore. Give it a shot today, or um, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know after practice. The continuity you guys on the offensive line over the last few months. How valuable is that against a team that's going to give you a bunch of looks and a bunch of pressures like that? You know, it helps. I think it helps not only to um, for communication, but um, you know, you get so many games on third down. You get so many pressures where. You know, guys are lined up in one gap and they're going to another gap, and guys have to pass things off. And um, you know, the uh, you know the more that the guys that are the doing the passing off are, are the same, hopefully that that helps. Um, and then there can be some improvement, you know, along the way. Um, so again, that that continuity has been good, and I know that the guys, I know that Dennis and and Jamil uh, and Pamp, uh, the guys that we have active. And available um, are ready to go and, and, and are prepared with the game plan as well. In terms of facing their pass rush, I know you want a fast start every week, but is this one of those weeks where staying in the game or, or having the lead and not allowing their guys to pin their ears back is doubly important? Well, I mean, they 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 face the the fewest amount of rushes um, in the league, so. I think that kind of explains, you know, hopefully um, <clears throat> that if you can keep the game manageable, you know, you can be balanced so that you're not having to drop back and throw it, uh, you know, every single snap because it's, it's, it's you know, 
21 to three. You talked about just defending the whole field against them. Setting the edge strong. That's what we talk about the rankings. Well, a lot of times the edge now they're 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 reading the edge. You know, there's times where they don't, and I think they catch people off guard when they just turn around and, and hand it. You know, and a guy's you know we watched this morning, maybe they they're reading a the guy, they're reading a the guy, and then all of a sudden, you know, the tackle smokes it. You know. The big brown comes smoking off on a on a guy that thought he was getting red and and knocks him ten yards off the ball. So, you know there'll be times obviously when they when they block you that the edge is always important. But then, you know sometimes those guys are getting red too, and that's the challenge. That's the conflict. That's where this whole thing became. You know, is is trying to cause conflict on those guys that you know you, you can't block or you couldn't block. And so, uh, you know it's going to be a huge challenge. Thank you.